Hi, this is Dawn, and I wanted to give you a little bit of guidance on how to create those custom backs for your cards. Um, if you've received some from us, and depending on how many different cards you've received from us, you may have seen we have different backs, and these are called custom backs. And this is one of the cool things, one of the many cool things about send out cards, is you can design that back to be whatever you want. If you save it, then you've got this save design, and then you can just click it and add it into your custom back as, as one of the layouts when you get to that last panel on your card. One of the things I want to say is the way that Send Out Cards does it is when you have a back, a custom back, they design it as if it's for a portrait card. And um, one of the things that our person who introduced us to Send Out Cards said is, you want to do as many portrait cards over the landscape cards because the portrait cards will actually stand up on the um, on a shelf, on a desk, or whatever. Whereas those landscape cards, you know, you think about it, they'll kind of go bleh, 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 and then they'll go flat. Whereas a portrait card won't. So um, most things, including the backs, are designed for that portrait card. And I'll tell you a little bit about how to design it for a landscape card if you care and that's going to be the key point so just know that these these cards these custom backs that i'm going to talk to you about are really for more of a portrait card um, so what you can see on the screen is i have canva up c-a-n-v-a dot com i have a free account um, i'm not even actually sure what i get if i were to upgrade because I get everything I need with the, the free account. Um, I think one of the things, honestly, is you can put in your colors and your brand and so your your favorite fonts so that when you go in and create designs, you can access your, your style guide, so to speak. Um, we haven't seen that we needed that, so we don't do that. Um, so the first thing you wanna know, and this is what um, my person told me, and it's what we've been using, and it's worked really well. So you go to canva.com and you get a free account. So you just, you know, name, email address, etc. And then when you get to your your main page and you want to select something, there's all sorts of cool stuff. You can create all sorts of things. You can see that you can create a Facebook post, Instagram post, all these things that are in the exact dimensions you need. Great. So for all the other social media marketing you're doing, Canva may be the thing for you but we're talking about how to use it for the custom back cards. So you wanna to go to custom dimensions, click on that, and then what you want is 1613 by 2250. I don't know where that number comes from. It was the number that's been given to me. It works, I use it. I don't know where it comes from. So anyway, so you just do that. Depending on how technologically savvy you are, um, may have, you know, may determine how quickly you pick up Canva. I found it fairly easy, but then I've been designing stuff on the internet for close to 20 years. You know, one of the things I did eons ago was I was actually a website designer. Um, I don't, I haven't done that for umpteen million years. But I did start out doing that. All right, so you can add things. Like you can see over here, you can add text. And then see it says add a heading, add a subheading. So you do that. Oh, look, it comes over here. You add a heading and you type it. It looks really small. I'm not sure why, but whatever. So let's just say the Schuler group. That is really small. Um, oh, but see, look, I can drag it and make it bigger. And this is a placeholder. You can do all sorts of things. You can drag it. I could make it smaller. See up here is the different font, the different size. You can just do all sorts of things. Whatever. I'm not gonna. I'm not going to mess too much with that because that's not what you're here for. Um, you also may want to add a an image. Um, you can see these are actually some of the images that are in our library because we've created several backs. If that one of those didn't work, then I would just click upload an image um, and then put it over here. One of the things we've done, because this is what was taught to us by the person who introduced us to send out cards, the, the backs 
take up the center part of the background of the back of the card. And so let me show you a few. You can see the, um, you can see, I hope that this is showing, you can see the, um, the different backs we have. And so for example here, let me open this up. It's going to open it up in, in uh, one of my uh, graphic programs. See, this is actually the whole back of the card. So it's got a picture of me, my name, soulful business coach. It's got, you know, a couple of lines and it has a URL. Um, this is so it, it was just this, how do I want to say it? Subtle marketing piece on the back of the card, not in your face, but just a, a little, a little thing. Um, we've had one with Mark and me so that when we are promoting the Schuler group and you can see we have the Schuler group, our tagline, when people thrive, companies thrive. We have our email addresses, our website and our phone number. So if they keep this card, which is one of the, you know, one of the things that you want to achieve, right? It's one of your goals is that you create this card that they love so much they want to keep it because it's about relationship marketing. Well, the side benefit is you have your information on the back. So how do I get in touch with Mark and Dawn? Oh yeah, look, it's right there. For our personal cards, we have one with it's, this is our view from our front window and it says Mark and Dawn Schuler, our view from Middletown Valley, Myersville, Maryland, which is where we live. So this just gives you an idea that when you go back to Canva, you can create whatever you want to create. You add text, you add images, um, you just keep going back, you add elements, you can add photos, see how you can add different different um, grids, different layouts. It's pretty cool. Um, if we are to go back, I'm trying to see if we can go back to our all your designs. Um, these are all the different designs we've done. We've even done some that are just text. So this is something we send out to some of our corporate clients. We solve challenges around employee engagement, employee turnover, and company culture, blah, 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 blah. And then here's all the things we do. Again, it has our contact information. This shows up on the back of the card. This is like, think of this as a photo. You create this in Canva and it becomes a graphic. It becomes a photo. And then in send out cards, when you go to create a background, you select a photo and you select this. So that's, that's one thing. The other thing I wanted to show you, because as I told you, what we've been doing uh, has been these, these backgrounds that are pretty, what do I want to call it? Um, subtle, low key, you know, it's just the middle of, of these things. What I saw in the send out cards group were actually some pretty amazing backgrounds. So just in case these, this might help you, I want to show you some of these. So this is, I actually saved the post. Um, some of these are Christmas and I'm not going to show you what that is right now. Um, but some of these were really cool. So this is, I don't know if she's a coach or she's a realtor, sleep less and dream more. And that's her, her, um, her tagline. And that covers the entire back of the card. So some of these, what people have done is, yeah, they cover the entire back of the card. I mean, it really is impressive depends on what your business is and what you're trying to promote. This one, pretty nice. Like, look, you've got that circle there. It looks pretty nice. Um, I'm going to see some other ones that I thought were really cool. I really like this one. There's a lot of, um, there's a lot of realtors that use send out cards, but imagine this on the on the back of a card. So creating an exceptional experience for my clients and building lasting relationships along the way. Her name, her contact information, and just this beautiful picture. That, again, while it takes up the entire card, to me it's subtle enough and beautiful enough that it wouldn't feel like I'm in your face marketing. Um, look at this one. 
creating an exceptional experience for my clients and building lash, lasting relationships along the way. I think that's what she said in the other one too. Um, again, a beautiful picture. She's a realtor, so she's really pulling on your heartstrings and whatever other strings going, oh, that's a beautiful door, like, and the stone and the archway, like, okay, I'm really drawn to it. But see how cool that is. That's the back of her card. Um, this one, um, this, I mean, this is a man who's actually using send out cards as his main business. So this is what he's doing in his back. And you can see he's also telling a story and why send out cards is important, what he can do, blah, blah, blah. So it really is making an impact. I want to see if there's any other cool one. Oh, I thought this was a neat idea. Somebody created a calendar. So if you did like say a New Year's card, uh, you could create a calendar for the upcoming year and wouldn't that be valuable? And people would not want to throw away your card. So how cool is that? Um, I really like this one. Um, again, it's she's promoting her business and the fact that she's able to do her business and family and that's one of her values. I thought it was pretty cool. So these are a couple of ideas for what you can do to create your own back. So let me just quickly, and I realize um, these videos always end up longer than I want them to be. And it's because I always want to give you lots and lots and lots of information. So let me show you how you would do this. So let's say I'm going to go send a card. And I'm just going to do a quick build your own because that actually is quicker for me. Um, I'm going to use a portrait card. And I talked about that at the beginning. I will try to remember to say something about the landscape card. So here's your photo card. I'm going to customize. Um, this is almost always what I do. The two panel, the standard, blah, 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 the next. And I put a photo. And then look, you can see all the, the photos that I have in here. Um, of things I've done. Let me do this one. This is a picture of my girls on a cool bridge in a park in Sitka, Alaska, believe it or not. All right. And then let's just pretend I'm going to write something, you know, on one of those panels, blah, blah, blah. Here's the back. Now, this is what I've chosen as my default back. If you're sending a lot of cards of a certain type, sometimes it's easy to just pick a default background, then you don't have to think about it. Um, we were sending a lot of personal cards, so that ended up being our our default background. But you can see we have other ones, right? So let's say that most of the cards I was going to send were going to be regarding my private coaching business. So see, I've selected this one. I could select it as the default right there. If you haven't done that yet, here's how you create that. So let's say I go, you know, I'm going to select an existing. What I really recommend that you do is you, I'm just looking at all the different options. You just do this full image. And then this is whatever design you've just created in Canva. It's a photo because whatever you created in Canva, even if it's all text, when you download it, it's either in a JPEG or a PNG file. It's a graphic image. So then you do that and then you just select whatever it is you're going to select. Even if it's all text, see, like that one, even if it's all text. And then of course you can reduce the size so it all fits, whatever it is, and do that. So that's how you create the custom back. Now what I want to say as far as portrait versus landscape. So when you send a landscape card, even if you send a landscape card, they're going to print whatever background you create portrait. So even if this is a landscape card, this is going to print out portrait. It, it depends on how much that bothers you. Does it bother you that on a landscape card where everything is, you know, horizontal based, and that when you turn it over, when you turn it to the back, well, that then it's all portrait based. Does that bother you? If not, then stop listening. If it does, then what you do 
is you create your um, you create your background in Canva and then you rotate it. So for example, you can see right here we have our Mark and Dawn background and you can see it's skewed. It's um, it's is that clockwise? Yes, yeah, clockwise 90 degrees. Because then when it prints on landscape, it will print horizontally as opposed to vertically, more of the portrait size. Again, if that matters to you, then by all means do that. So what you just do in, in Canva is you create it and then you can just you can just rotate things. I'm not in Canva. There we go. You can just rotate things. Um, trying to see. Da, da, da. I've done it before. Oh, see, see, here's the rotate. And then you can just rotate it. See? And then it would be part of that. And obviously you mess around with the other things. If you have any questions or there's anything you need help with, if you want some design help um, with my I don't, wouldn't call them meager skills, but they're also not expert skills. So somewhere in the middle. Um, happy to help you out with that. I hope you found this helpful and enjoy creating amazing relationships, building your business, enhancing your life with send out cards. Thank you very much.